My name is Carrie Kennedy, and I am the president of Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights. I'm a lawyer, an activist, and a mother. For over 40 years, I have been devoted to the pursuit of social justice and the promotion and protection of human rights. Think of the leaders who are making our world a better place, a more just and peaceful place today. Malala on girls' education, Greta Thornburg on climate, the Black Lives Matter movement on anti-Black violence, the Keystone Pipeline organizers known as the Intel Youth Council, which stopped the Dakota Pipeline in the United States, David Hogg and the fellow victims of the Marjorie Stoneham Douglas High School shooting, who passed scores of pieces of legislation in municipalities across the United States controlling guns, Cassidy Hutchinson, the 25-year-old aide to Donald Trump, whose testimony at the January 6 hearings demonstrated the courage to speak truth to power, even when many of the much older and much more powerful colleagues dodged subpoenas when our democracy was at stake. Vanessa Nakate, the climate activist from Uganda. Sunita Alizide, the rapper from Afghanistan who is on the front lines of stopping child marriage. All these and so very, very, very many more. All of them are under 30 years old. All of them care about our world, care about the people, care about our communities and are creating change. If you have any doubt about who's making change in this world these days, just look to your left and look to your right and then look straight in the mirror because the answer to that is you. It's the people at One Young World. And that's why I'm so excited to be joining you in person next year in Belfast. You know, I've been working in human rights for over 40 years. And when I first started, all of Latin America was under right-wing military dictatorships. Today, there's not one left standing. All of Eastern Europe was under communism. Today, there's not one communist government left. South Africa was at the height of apartheid. Today, South Africa has had a series of freely elected governments elected by a majority of their people. And women's rights was not on the international agenda. Today, CEDAW, the Women's Rights Convention, has been ratified by more than 183 countries. All these changes came about, not because governments wanted them to, not because huge corporations wanted them to, not because great armies wanted them to. Governments and armies and multinational corporations tried to stop them. But they came about because small groups of determined people harnessed the dream of freedom and made it come true. And they did that by organizing, by calling their friends, by calling their families, by bringing together their communities, and by saying, we envision a better world, a more just and peaceful world, and we're going to make that happen. That's what One Young World is all about. And that's why I'm so excited to be seeing you in Belfast next year.